Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi and I just wanted to make a very quick video explaining what tools and resources I use to pass my NCLEX in more than 75 questions. So if you're new to my channel or new to the nursing world, I can let you know that the NCLEX is a National Certification Licensure Exam. It's an exam that all nurses, whether it's a bachelor degree, associate's degree, or LPN, a licensed practical nurse, each one of us have to take the NCLEX in order to actually practice as a nurse, as a clinically licensed nurse. The NCLEX is a computer-based exam, which means that the test fluctuates its questions based on your performance. Sounds intimidating, it kinda is, but hey, there are ways to study and prepare yourself to pass the NCLEX. First things first, how many questions did I get? I got 95 questions when I took the NCLEX. I freaked out a little bit. Once I got to number 75, which 75 is the minimum amount of questions that you can have on the NCLEX, 265 is the maximum number. I clicked, I got to like number 74, I answered the question, I did number 75, and I sat there for a few seconds, I was like, okay, take a deep breath, you hit the next button, it could either shut off, which would mean I was done, or it could keep going. So I took a deep breath in, I hit the next button, and it kept going. It kept going all the way to 95. We all know once we get into nursing school, that is what is at the end of the line for us. That is our goal to be able to test and pass the NCLEX. The NCLEX can be very challenging and frightening for a lot of people. It was for me. Um, I'm not the greatest test taker. I constantly overthink myself. I talk myself out of answers. I hate the fact that I did that. I did that throughout my entire nursing school career. Um, so I understand how challenging and frightening it can be. My university, I feel, did a great job at preparing us for the NCLEX. We, uh, a lot of the things that I used to study for the NCLEX were things that were required for us to use throughout our nursing school journey. So the HESI for my nursing program was used as an entrance exam. So basically it helped wean out, you know, the best candidates to enroll in our nursing school. We covered English, math, and sciences with the entrance program. The specialty courses that we had throughout our nursing school journey, such as OB, med, search, critical care, uh, public health, those courses had specific exams uh, created by HESI that helped test our knowledge of the information covered throughout the course. And then at the end of our nursing school journey, there was an exit exam. The exit exam basically covered everything from the beginning of nursing school to the end. So it covered fundamentals of nursing, all the specialty courses, and even like professionalism as a, as a nurse. Uh, our, exit, our exit HESI, say that a lot. Our exit HESI had about, I want to say 165 questions. And, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't like the NCLEX to where it would shut off at a certain amount. You had to take 165 questions and it was a pass-fail. Um, actually, no, it wasn't pass-fail. You could get 75%. I have to double check. I think we could get a 75% uh, in order to be considered a pass for it. And so at the end of our exit exam, our nursing school educator, like the overall educator of our program, she would take us aside, review our test results, and she would let us know what areas we were weak in in order to give us the opportunity to study and freshen up on those areas prior to the NCLEX. That to me was very helpful because I realized at the end, you know, um, maybe some of the critical care pieces I had a uh, understanding of but you know I probably just need to review maybe the cardiovascular system a little bit more to make sure I don't miss those types of questions it was great information I know when I enrolled at my university they pro provided information about you know tools and resources you can buy specifically for the HESI program I didn't personally buy it because I just didn't want to spend the money. But, you know, I had classmates who did buy those books and we could share, we could look and look back and forth and kind of get the tips and tricks for how to pass the HESIs each time. Another requirement for my nursing school program was the Saunders Comprehensive Review Book. This book right here was great. It was a very big help throughout the nursing program. The book covers you know, topics from fundamentals, pediatrics, adult gastrointestinal, like all of the adult systems. Uh, it covered 
you know, mental health, public health. And the biggest thing for me in this book was I really love the section called NCLEX Prep. So throughout the book, it has, you know, tips and tricks on, or I ain't even gonna say tricks, but in this section, in the NCLEX Prep section, it has a whole bunch of tips on how to test and how to prepare for the NCLEX. Like I said, the NCLEX is a computer-based exam. So this book lets you know how to do, you know, multiple response questions, order response questions, or select all that apply. I will be honest with you, I feel like the NCLEX loves selects all that apply. I felt like almost every other question I had was select all that apply. And to me, select all that apply questions are hard because it's, it's not like those questions where you can wean out you know, half of the questions and give yourself a 50-50% chance of passing or of getting the answer right. It It literally is, you could miss one whole question because you selected only three out of the four correct answers. And to me, that's very intimidating to me. Um, so I really enjoyed this book as a, a resource on learning proper ways to, you know, do a select all that apply question or, or you know, just to how to re I read this, I use this book before almost every exam even, especially our HESIs. This helped me find ways to be a more comprehensive tester. It also allowed me to feel a bit more confident in my testing abilities just because I made sure that I took the time and read the tips on how to be a good test taker. Um, if your nursing school does not require you to buy this book, I suggest you purchase it on your own. It, I mean, it is filled with information. It has you know, end of the chapter test questions that you can use. We would even sit sometimes uh, before exams and read the questions and tell me and my classmates, we would read the questions to each other and test our knowledge that way. I mean, you see, I've highlighted all throughout this book. It was, it's a really good book. So another benefit of purchasing this book is with the purchase of this book, you get a registration that you can use online. It comes with a question bank that you can use in preparation for the NCLEX. So, you know, at the end of my nursing program, I did go online and use some of the practice questions. It even had a pretest where there were 75 questions that evaluated my current knowledge. Um, and so I used that test and at the end of it, it also let me know my weak areas and I just used that as a gauge um, onto what I needed to study or, you know, strengthen myself on prior to taking the NCLEX. The last required purchase, at least as far as NCLEX preparation goes for my program, was called the Lippincott NCLEX RN Passpoint. I'll put that title in here, see if I can find a photo or something to add. But it was a required purchase in my final semester of nursing school. And with that purchase, we got a 12 month access to the program each week we had to complete 200 questions over a certain topic so in our syllabus our instructor had each topic listed and with each week we had to just make sure we covered at least a minimum of 200 questions and with that you know we were getting graded um and we got graded on according to our mastery level so in the program it will have a, a chart and it basically shows how well you're doing in each subject. We had to maintain a certain mastery level of each subject in order to receive credit for it. If you did a minimum of 200 questions and your mastery level was low, you could do more questions to increase your mastery level. Uh, it was very, it was, it felt like a lot of busy work, but you know, in the end, it was very helpful because it prepared us for testing and you know the questions were really good it had rationales at the end of each exam and it lets you know what you got wrong and you know it was very it was beneficial I felt like the most beneficial part of that program was there there was a requirement practice exam that we had to take at the end of the semester you had to take at least 75 questions and you had to do it in test mode. So 
test mode just basically meant that you know once you answered a question it wouldn't automatically let you know whether or not you had gotten it right you just test it and then at the end you would see your results at the end of the exam it gave you your probability of passing the NCLEX I got a good probability of passing my NCLEX which helped build confidence in in myself for taking the NCLEX so I found that part to be extremely extremely beneficial so the next two tools that I will discuss were two things that were not a requirement through my nursing school program they were just things that I had heard so much great talk about and you know you only you you want to invest in yourself I wanted I wanted to take the NCLEX one time and I did not want to feel like I did not do my best or you know try to take advantage of everything available to me in order to pass so I took it upon myself to find you know the best resources available to me in order to pass the NCLEX first one being Mark Klemek Mark Klemek is, is an Ohio based instructor he travels and he teaches nursing students tips for NCLEX testing, he, you know, does this entire review of nursing information. He, it was phenomenal. I loved his teaching. He was very energetic. It wasn't boring, you know, and he kept us engaged. I will say that this course was not cheap. I low-key had an attitude about having to pay for it. Um, but like I said, I wanted to give myself the best benefit of the doubt. I wanted to give myself the upper hand at passing the NCLEX the first time. I did not want to be the person, you know, who barely even studied or just was like, oh, I got it. You know, I wanted to make sure I gave myself that confidence. So if if I had to pay what I had to pay, you know, to feel like I knew my stuff, that's what I had to do. So Mark Klemek, like I said, is Ohio-based instructor and he had a three three-day course it was 375 I ain't want to pay it Lord I ain't want to pay it but I did $375 for a three-day course that was each day was about seven to eight hours a piece with the course you did receive two review books uh, I have no idea what the second one is but this book was what was used throughout the lecture and it basically has you know fill in this blank so while he teaches you just go through and you fill in you know what he's talking about and i really appreciated how he was very a very animated person so even on the he kept the back pages blank so a lot of the times we could draw and i'm a very um visual learner and a lot of the times stuff doesn't click for me unless i can see it you know um so I really appreciated that about his course. Again, he was very, he just was a great teacher. I will say that throughout the course uh, or the review course with Mark Klemek, a lot of the stuff I felt like I did know. And that's, not, that's nothing against him. That just means that my nursing school was doing a great job at teaching us. You know, but Mark Klemek would be phenomenal for people who you know had to take a break after nursing school and couldn't get directly into the NCLEX to test you know someone who may have taken six months to a few years off from nursing school and someone who just needs to have that quick refresher and a, you know a, and a course to bring back what we learned uh, i really did enjoy this program or this uh, review course and I highly recommend it for those of you who may feel like you need just a backup um, review after school or just someone who wants to have an in-depth review session. So the next tool that I want to discuss that I felt gave me the biggest confidence boost outside of you know my, my degree itself but the biggest uh, NCLEX preparation tool for me was U World. I had heard so many great reviews about U World from friends had, who had taken the test before me, uh, from reading the reviews online, from YouTube. And you know, I debated for a very long time whether or not I was going to get U World. I talked, actually complained um, to my fiance a few times about you know how much I had heard about U World, but I just didn't want to pay for it. So in the end, he actually just made the decision for me and bought it and was like, Miriam, 
use this and leave me alone like and i'm very glad he did that because you world was an amazing resource um we purchased the 30 day question bank you get 2000 plus questions and uh, the 30 day purchase didn't come with with a self-assessment, but that was fine for me because I had other means of testing myself um, with the other programs. And so, you know, UWorld was great because it gave you rationales for right and wrong answers. Most programs, you know, once you take a practice test, they'll explain the right answer. And, you know, it doesn't mention the other answers or whatever, but UWorld broke down every single answer. I also like the fact that UWorld, um, after each test, with each question that you were given, they showed the percentage of people who got a question right or wrong. So it lets you know where you stood as far as the average tester. Um, UWorld allowed us to have a graph and, and to see where my weak spots were. And so when I referred to that graph, I was able to see what subjects I needed to strengthen my knowledge in. Also, you know, while studying or reading rationales, I was able to highlight certain text and then add it to study notes for later reference. I really did enjoy you world. I'll see if I can take the link and list it below um, that lists the different types of packages that are able to be purchased through you world. I believe they have a 30, 60, 90 and 120 day packages and i think the difference is you know you get self-assessments with some um like i said the 30 day didn't have a self-assessment and that was fine um and we essentially went with the 30 day because i had my test originally scheduled for the middle of June. I graduated May 4th and I had told myself that I wanted to allow at least four to six weeks after graduation for me to study. Um, once I sat down and started doing that, I was stressed. I realized, you know, I couldn't extend that study period for that long because I would literally be an anxious mess at the table trying to study. Um, so, you know, what I did was I rescheduled my test for um may 30th i went ahead and, and moved my test up to may 30th and then i created a study plan to where every single day until testing day or actually until may 29th i did not study on may 29th every single day up until may 29th i took at least 75 questions i would read the rationales and explanations for every single question I would, uh, the questions that I missed, I would write down the rationales and then I would study that again and then I would try to make sure I, I put that subject material into the next day's test. Um, if you need a deeper explanation of how I study for the NCLEX, I'll try to create a different video that'll show like my schedule and exactly how I studied. Um, but that's what worked for me. And like I said, um, NCLEX is not easy, but it's totally doable. I passed my first time in 95 questions and I could not be more excited. So in the end, I hope you were able to take something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, I'll try to find links to all the resources that I mentioned throughout the video and place them within the description box. Um, if you're a new nursing student, find these resources as soon as possible don't wait till the last minute and and cram you know that you can't get nowhere with that if you are a recent grad and you're preparing to take the NCLEX believe in yourself know that you know the stuff know the information as long as you put the time in and you know put forth the effort needed to obtain and retain the information given to you throughout school you got this if I can do it I know you can too I'll talk to you guys later bye